Hi everyone, I'm Jack Red. Um, in a few minutes, my friend will be back with a soda, and we're gonna be talking about Dune Nukem 3D Megaton Edition, which is released on Steam a few months ago, and it's probably one of the best ports I have ever seen, along with the X360 version. So, I think I hear someone coming. I wonder who that is. Yep. What are you doing in here, Jack? I'm talking about this awesome game. You want to come here and help me? Sure, what game are you doing now? Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition. Holy shit, I just got that game. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, me too. I've been playing the hell out of it. Pretty sweet, man. Alright, so uh, I don't mean to interrupt. Please continue your, your review. Okay. And we're going to be talking about one of the most awesome video game characters of all time. Duke Nukem. That's not the Duke. Hey, hang on a second. Let me try something. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We're having technical difficulties. As it turns out, there's more than one Duke. So we're trying to get the right one to come out. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is that some babes I hear? Oh, and I smell some pizza. <laughs> that is not the Duke either. Well, technically it is the Duke, but... Not the Duke we're talking about. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Here we go. Let me see if I press this button right here. There we go, finally. Duke Nukem 3D. Ah. And I thought I was going to have to get a little bit mad at it, but anyways. Yeah. That's what we're going to be reviewing uh, in this video. Hope you've liked the video so far. We've, uh, uh, took some time to try to get all this stuff together. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, we're both really inspired in a lot of ways of uh, Dude Nukem. I mean, he really is one of the most inspiring characters in both our lives. Uh, me, I bought Duke Nukem back in 1998. Uh, I think it did anyway. But I got the full version of it with all four episodes and everything. I've played all the campaigns all the expansion packs, all the level packs and all that good stuff. I never played on it much multiplayer. I didn't really see the point. It, for me it was just it was a time killer. You got to kill aliens, you got to, you know, adventure around some of the level designs and whatnot. But most recently oh, excuse me. Steam has released Duke Nukem three D Megaton edition. Oh man. Um I just got it for myself. Just got it from my brother, and we both think it's an awesome game. He had all the classic weapons from Duke Nukem 3D, from the Mighty Foot to the Freeze Ray. Uh, let's see here. Plus, on some of the expansion packs like Nuclear Winter, or wait, was it was it only Life's a Beach where they only modified the weapons? As far as I know, it's the only one that did that. And the hmm. key cards, and I I think it changed the game the most, but. I actually talked to a couple fans last night about this, and they all agreed it was the best one. <sighs> Sorry, I just had a brain fart. Um, I recommend it. My best friend recommends it. It's definitely worth a play through. Um, I'm not going to review the whole game. I'm just going to give you my opinion about it. Um... Really, there's not a lot we could say about it because I mean, so many people already has on you know so many versions. So yeah. The pretty ones I'm mostly gonna be aiming at the expansions because ch chances are most people haven't you know got to play them. And back then, the only way you can play them is if you had the original version of the game and you just don't have to find you know get them somewhere. Or well, now you can go to school and see them. Oh, there you are, right there. Yeah, for around ten bucks you can own this legendary first-person classic. I recommend it. Jack? I recommend it. Alright. Give it a try. Don't watch us. Go on Steam, buy it, or if you got it, or if you know a friend that has it, play it. Until then, this is Seth Vale and Jack Red, signing out.